the 1600 and will win it come to me well done to mr l duncan and mrs d.a duncan tara lang and chase mojan uh, so one Bradley back with stud five. Second place will go the way of Shades of Blue, number three. Third place, number six, Thomas Tucker. They were followed by number five, Bravo Charlie in that fourth place. Just ahead of number seven, Montana Sky. In behind it, we have Lost Monarch. Give me the thumbs up. Prince in action. And William Cavendish. Eight, three, six, five, seven. Your winner is the white sleeves and the white cap. That is Oriental World. We'll come out and take the opening leg of this afternoon's place accumulator. Don't forget race three coming up is the first leg of your pick six. Number eight, Oriental World. I think he's won a very good race here because he still looked very much at sea over the final stages. The legs were going everywhere, but Chase Mojan has coaxed the best out of him. And despite the greenness, the Ideal World Colt has come through to find victory, having his first start over a little bit of ground. Very nice runs from the Duncan McKenzie train duo. They looked good and they ran very well. Number three, Shades of Blue in second. Number six, Thomas Tucker in third, doing his best work late. Newcomer to the Eastern Cape has shown good improvement and that's Bravo Charlie horse number five in fourth. Well your winner of race two is number eight Oriental World being raced by Mr. L.D. Duncan and Mrs. Uh, D.A. Duncan trained by Tara Lang well done to Gavin as well and a strong good strong ride here from Chase Mujan was very leggy in the closing stages as a three-year-old son of Idea World, but Chase kept it going to secure the race, and it's well done to the breeders in the form of backwards stud. Eight, three, six, five, and seven.
Oriental world comes through. He's loved the extra distance today. But Chase, I've got to give you kudos because, as I was saying off air, that really looked terribly uncomfortable. Yeah, Nadine, he was never once in the race, could I say, he was traveling. He was off the bit, watching everyone else in the race. And even on top of the straight, I was worried. But when I squeezed him, all of a sudden I knew that horse, but he started to put it together. Even when I switched him out, it took like another 100 meters to find himself again. So just a big th well done to the whole team, hey, to bring a horse to come first, start like a win. Great job. The way that he was running, he was running up at you, and you almost have to think if he's got such a beautiful action like that, what it's going to be when he learns to flatten. Yeah, well, let's hope. We'll just don't want to talk yeah. too soon. It's still early days, but at this moment, he's doing all the right things, so let's hope it carries on. He certainly has. You earned your riding fee. Well done. Thank you. There you go. Great ride there from Chase. He had to uh, pull it all out the bag to get the greenness under control. And Tara, it really says a lot about him that he's managed to do what he has today, despite the fact that he's been so green. Yeah, look, there's a lot more to come of this horse, Nadine. He's big. He's columpified. Um, he's like a Trinosaurus Rex. He's absolutely huge. Um, he's not stopped growing either, please believe me. Gavin boxed really clever. He said, let's give him two educational runs up the street in the sprints, and that's what we did. Mr. Duncan was here last week, so unfortunately he wasn't here today. But yeah, he's a really nice horse and I think he's gonna go places. You know, we're gonna earmark the Derby and then the Gold Cup. He's bred to stay all day. And I think he's just gonna get better with the more racing, you know, that's under his belt, Nadine. And gotta say thanks to the yard because you've been very transparent about him. You said you were very surprised by the placing over the 1200 and that you expected this type of run from him today. So thanks and well done to you guys. Yeah, like I said, you know, Gavin earmarks these races. That's his job. He's always spot on. And just to the Duncans, they're absolutely great people to, 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 to Daryl and to Lance and to Mr. Duncan. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. Diam, you ran a cracker the other day in that division. Uh, just got pipped on the line. So, yeah, so just a lot of fun and games. Everything's coming together, you know, for small owners. Light racing for you guys today. So far, you've got a 100% strike rate. Only one more run in the way of uh, lead man. And he, he loves the mile on grass. Yeah, he does. And look, we're quite fortunate. There's been four scratchings. You know, I think we stand out now at barrier position 10. Yeah. Um, he needs a, a, a good pace, he likes to run at them. Chase knows him backwards, he's very well. I sent Etienne a video of him this morning. I am expecting a good run. He was on his toes, he was actually towing shoes around the yard. Um, so a little bit of a giggle there. And just, you know, well done to all the staff at home. You know, they've, we've had a hard year, but we've, you know, kept our head above water. And, you know, just in case we're not back on Monday, um, just, you know, wish everybody a happy Christmas. Brilliant, Tara. Well done, and I'm sure everyone really appreciates the wishes. Yeah, and just to Morris V Sports Belt, you know, thanks very much. Brilliant. Thank there you go. Sponsors well represented here as Oriental World comes through to win on only the third time of asking, and the first time he's actually been around the bend. All at sea, he's really won a really good race, and I do think this is one to just keep an eye on. I think he's going to be going places. So very well done to Tara Lang and to the owners, the Dunkers. Congratulations. Race two now all clear, eight, three, six, five, seven. Touch favorite was number three, it's all clear. All set.